Hello, welcome back to this tutorial. It's on circle theorems. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the previous and other videos on circle theorems. In this video, we'll be looking at theorems on angles in the same segment or sector of a circle. So we have the theorem. The statement of the theorem is angles in the same segment or sector of a circle are equal. So we look at these uh, diagrams one and two. From diagram one, um, if you look at this chord, this is a chord, it divides the circle into major and minor segments. For the angles to be in the same segment, the line forming the angles must both originate from both ends of the chord. Like you can see, this is angle X. The two lines, this and this, originated from both ends of this chord. The same way, the lines containing why both originated from the two ends of the chord therefore we say x is equal to y being in the same segment of the circle from diagram two also we have uh, the center of the circle here and we have a sector we have a sector so since this is the sector, this is the minor sector here, this is the major sector. And for any angle to be on the same sector of the circle, the lines containing the angles must both originate from both ends of the arc that is forming the sector. Therefore, if you look at this now, the lines containing angle A both originated from the two ends of the arc. So the same thing here, B, so we have A equal to B, being angles in the same sector of the circle. So we are going to take some problems on this theorem. So we take our first problem. Problem one, calculate the values of X, Y, and Z in the diagram below. So to get the values of X, Y, and Z, first we consider the angle at the center. This angle at the center is contained in a minor sector. So this is the arc accommodating the 98 degrees at the center of the circle. Now we need to look at which, oh, they are all connected because all the angles here originated from the two ends of the arc. So we just need to pick one, which is uh, this uh, angle here is connected to either x y or z so we now look at it as x equal to 98 divided by 2 the reason being angle at center is twice angle at the circumference this will give us 49 degrees so if you look at it now we said this is the sector of the circle and uh, look at this now the other angles are in the same sector of this circle so we now say y is equal to 49 degrees that is angle in the same sector and also z is equal to 49 degrees the reason being angles in the same sector of the circle so with this we have done justice to problem one and we go to problem two 
For problem 2, find the values of angles A, B, and C in the diagram. Again, we need to look at uh, the given angle at the circumference, which one is equal to the given angle at the circumference, and they are in the same sector here. Now, our arc of reference with respect to the given angle here at the circumference is this. So the angle is formed by the lines, this and this. And uh, if you look at this, the other angle A also originated from this place, which means A is equal to 15 degrees the reason being angles in the same sector of the circle and now um, since it is very obvious that C and B are in the same sector also but before then both of them are unknown we need to find one first um, to get to one if we know this angle yes or we could just say this plus this is equal to this. Well, is it going to give us the same answer? Let's look at this as a straight line. So we name that angle there as X. We can find X to be 180 degrees minus 67 degrees. That is angles on a straight line. Now, which will now give us 113 degrees. So from here now we can get C. Say C equal to 180 degrees minus 113 degrees, that is X, minus 15 degrees, that is angles of a triangle. They sum up to give 180 degrees. So C is equal to 52 degrees. We have already established that C is equal to B. So B is equal to 52 degrees. The reason being angles in the same sector with C. So this is angles in the same sector with what? C. And with this, we have gotten the values of uh, A, B, and C, which brings the solution to problem 2 to an end. So we go to problem 3. For problem 3, in the diagram, AD, this is AD is equal to CD, so meaning angle ADC is an isosceles triangle. Angle ADB, ADB is 25 degrees, and angle CBD, CBD is 58 degrees. Calculate BDC. We have to calculate B. DC or oh, the marked angle here. Now we study the diagram carefully. Um, we have this at the circumference. Wow, I can see this arc AB. This arc AB, uh, the angle containing 25 degrees starts from A and B and also the angle containing this ACB start from A and B so we can say angle ACB ACB is equal to 25 degrees that is angles in the same segment or sector so we've gotten that yes we can also connect this angle with this having common base CD wow that's it so we can say angle C A D this angle here is equal to 58 degrees still angles in the same segment we have gotten C A D C A D yes since this is equal to this isosceles triangle which means this angle here is equal to this angle here. So we have angle ACD, A, 
CD is equal to 58 degrees that is base angles of isosceles triangle so from here we can combine this triangle BCD yes from triangle BCD this triangle here we've calculated this to be 25 degrees we just calculated this to be 58 degrees by the time we add this plus this plus this that will give us 180 degrees so therefore angle BDC will be 180 degrees minus 58 degrees this 58 minus this 58 degrees then minus 25 degrees the reason being angles of a triangle so pressing our calculator we have angle BDC to be 39 degrees and we have done justice to problem 3 we go to problem 4 for problem 4 study the diagram below and find the values of S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z wow this is numerous so we have to study the diagram carefully carefully so that we won't leave out anything I can see this I can see this which okay let me start with this chord I start with this chord this is the other side of the chord that's the segment um, in this segment I can see this is connected to this also while well, it has come out so this S is 74 degrees so from here S is 74 degrees being angles in the same segment so we are done with that now we look at this 58 is connected to this chord so let's look at this chord and uh, the angle 58 this chord also yes is connected to this one also we can now say x is equal to 58 degrees that is angles in the same segment so having gotten angles in the same segment we've gotten s and what x so from here we continue to study again yes this is a straight line wow this is a straight line is connected to this z so we can easily find the value of z here so our z will be equal to 180 minus 102 degrees which gives angles on a straight line and that will give us a 78 degrees so z is 78 degrees wow since this is a straight line and this is a straight line i can see vertically opposite angles this y is vertically opposite to z and vertically opposite angles are equal therefore y is equal to 78 degrees vertically opposite angles with z so we've got in uh, x y z and s so um, the next thing is we look at is it W S we've got in S we've got in this we've got in this yes we can go for U we can go for U since we've got in X and this is 102 degrees so the sum of u x and 102 will give us 180 degrees so we say u is 180 minus 102 degrees minus x which is minus 58 
the reason being angles of a triangle this is 160 and uh, 180 so our result is 20 degrees so u is 20 degrees um, we've got in a u we've got in these and is u equal to anything yes see u and the chord this is the chord and uh, my u is here so this is interesting so from here since t is equal to u and u is 20 degrees so t is equal to 20 degrees the reason being angles in the same segment with u now we are done with that um we have a stu v w x y o we need w and v uh, here we have gotten sc so we can calculate w here calculating w so w is 180 degrees minus s which is 74 degrees minus z and z is 78 degrees that is angles of a triangle if you press our calculator we have w to be 28 degrees and uh, remaining z where is the chord containing z so this is the chord here this is the chord and uh, the angle here is w and v so w and v so v equal to 28 degrees that is angles in the same segment with w um, i think we are done with this we have a s t u v w x y and z so we have done justice to this problem and this is the highest we can take for this theorem and next circle theorem on the next video check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the previous lesson on circle theorems and the subsequent lesson until we meet again bye for now